I like this format. It, it works better for me. Uh, I, I mean, you can look at my career. I've, I've made a few checks, but I haven't won a lot. But that's not saying I'm not going to win these because I think one thing that I have been decent at, at in, in my career is, is finding fish and, and being able to generate bites, you know, and that's what I like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to run the best pattern I can to get the most bites. And, you know, sure, do I want to catch a lot? Yeah, I want to catch a lot. Do I want to catch a lot of big ones? Yeah, who doesn't? That's the perfect storm, right? It doesn't always work that way. So I, I'm really excited about it. Let's, oh, look at me. That's, a, that's in my underwear. <laughs> all right, let's see. The, we got another slide going? Let's see what all we're doing here. All right, here, here's the way it's changed the way I fish. Um, man, the, these guys, it, it, we've talked about this a few times. Hey, it's hard to out slow me. And you'd think as goofy as I am and, and I, like I'd fish really, really fast. I don't. It's not my comfort zone. I can't, I can't fish like a Van Dam. I can't fish like an Edwin. I mean, I'm, I was always a grinder. I would grind my way through it, you know? I mean, the, okay, you know, there's two perspectives in it. Van Dam's idea is he want to cover as, as much water as he can to catch as many of the, the active fish as he can, right? Well, my theory was always, uh, you know, if I found him in this area, I want to catch every one in there. Like, I, I, I didn't want to just catch the active ones. I wanted to catch every bass in that pocket, in that area, off those docks. Well, it's changed the way I fish to the point is, everybody know I used to love throw a shaky head. I still do. But, man, I don't even throw it that much anymore because it's almost a little too slow for me. That's why in, in most of those events, you didn't see a lot of guys, like, wrecking them on a Carolina rig, right? Seemed like old Van Dam did pretty good in those, didn't he? In most of Major League Fishing. Think old Edwin's done pretty well in them. I think he's won two or three. Guys that are able to fish fast and cover water are the guys that excel at that. You know, we were, we were talking about some of the guys that have done extremely well at it. Um, it just fits them like a, like a Andy Montgomery. Guy's really good at it, man. For one, I mean, he's an incredible caster. Y'all all cast pretty good? You cast good? What would you give yourself on a 1 to 10, your casting ability? Now, be honest with you. You can exaggerate a little. It's okay to lie a little bit. What are you, 1 to 10? Probably 6. A 6? Okay. I would consider myself now, I'm a 6 or a 7, I think. That's about where I am. I used to be a lot better, and I was wondering why I was getting like I'm not good anymore. Because I'm blind. That's what it is. I got one contact. This one right here is, is built to see a long way away, and this one is built to see close, but I hadn't go too close, so I had to compromise on both, so both my eyes suck. <laughs> That's the truth. The other day I was fishing a tournament, and I mean, it, was, it wasn't even a big deal, you know? I mean, I was just going to lob my stuff over there, and I went, it was one of those high-dollar swim baits like Carl gave me, and I threw that sucker about 40 foot up in a tree. I never even saw that tree. <laughs> That's just getting old. You laugh. How old are you? Fourteen. It's coming quicker than you know it. <laughs> you, got a, you got about four years left. So, so picking up the pace is, has really been a big deal to me. I think it's helped me uh, become a better fisherman. If we're fishing a, like a ledge, like if you're a Grand Lake or something, and you, let's say you got a cranking hole or a Carolina rig hole, and you pull up on that deal, I can tell you right now, and I promise you, Carl or Edwin or Van Dam or whoever's here, they'll tell you the same thing. Your opportunity to catch the biggest bass in that school is going to happen fast. Okay? The longer you beat on that school, your eye just come down to catch a big one. And you, and you want to get on those offshore deals. I'm getting off on offshore uh, stuff, but when you line up, and, and it took me forever. Rick Clun told me this one time, and I did, it took me 14 years to understand what he said. He was way smarter than I was. Um, the average guy is going to throw his Carolina rig in there, right? That's what I did. Man, I'm going to catch me five, then I'm going to throw a crankbait in there. Eh, wrong deal. When you get them going offshore, you catch the biggest one, the biggest, baddest one you can first. You, get, you cannot beat a guy that's throwing a crankbait or a swimbait with a jig or a Carolina rig. It is not going to happen. 
You know how I know? Because I've been beat by Edwin. I've been beat by Van Dam. I've been beat by all of those guys cranking when I was out there throwing a football head in the Carolina rig. But as soon as you pull up on that deal, this is when I know to leave. Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Subscribe today.